almost started three days ago when I decided I was bored with America. Maybe it happens to you. What do you do about it? You Google a bus ticket out of there. And I stumbled upon a bus ticket to Montreal for $60. And so you know what? I did what any traveler would do. I clicked book. And here I am today in Montreal, Canada. Click the rewind. Eight hours overnight. That's all you need. To zoom out. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Joe Franco here. And it is a nice and cozy 11.30 p.m. New York City's Port Authority, the sexiest bus terminal of all. At least they got a sign up. Oh my God, it's Justin Bieber. Oh. This is it, the Big Apple. You knew you were getting yourself into something good when you stepped foot in the bus station. I've gone to Montreal before. This is probably my third or fourth time going. But this time is the first time I'm taking a bus. I didn't realize I was gonna have to take three buses. Here's a fun plot twist. You gotta take three buses. I'm gonna be up all night. Who's ready? And here I was thinking like, oh, the train's 12 hours. Eight hours, what a good trip. And then when I printed my boarding passes, it was like printing one of four documents. And I'm like, what you mean? Four documents. So apparently I'm gonna go from New York City to Albany, Albany to the border of Canada, the Canadian border to finally Montreal. Let's do it. So do I have to change my bag for every bus? No, only for every bus, where are you going? I'm going to Montreal. What every bus? There's only one bus. What? So why did I get so many tickets? Because I like paper. Ah, that's the best news I've heard all day. Thank you. Great success. Excuse me, sorry. 1.30 a.m. first rest stop. Let's get some food. America. Welcome. We have no more fried chicken, we have no more tenders, and we don't have any roast beef. So what do you have? We have burgers, Okay. Burgers fresh. Okay, beautiful, I need fresh. All right. All right. It's not my proudest moment. Bon appetit. Randomly thought about this while I'm getting my very fresh cheeseburger and bag of chips from the rest stop. It's 1.30 in the morning. People are working, so next time you're asleep overnight, think about all those people who are servicing the travelers passing through to get to their destination. Shout out to you overnight workers, I appreciate you. Oh man, 3 a.m. Albany. You read enough paper. <laughs> crisp Canadian air. We are here at immigration at 7 a.m. Nothing like a creepy, scary stop at immigration. I'll wake you up and get you ready for the day. I have been sitting on a bus for seven hours, so maybe I'm getting hype because I can't move my legs. And because I'm gonna be in Montreal in about two hours. Ask me how much I have planned. <laughs> Zero. And I didn't even know if they were gonna let me get through because I didn't even book a return flight or train or bus i just I'm, I'm just going and sometimes you just gotta shut up and go limited edition t-shirt you can't even buy this anymore we stopped producing this merch but we are in the process of making new merch always thinking about business even at 7 a.m side note the guy at customs was like ah vous parlez français and i'm like oui uh, je crois que oui je suis ici pour pratiquer Anyways, let's just see because I needed to get out of New York to get my brain moving because when you're in a place where you're used to being Your brain gets a little lazy, which is why it's really important to travel Because then your brain gets a little gets a little kick. Okay, andiamo. Wrong language. Allons-y. Alright, we'll see you there <laughs> Ciao. Suitcase, staircase, not a good case. <gasps> Let's do it. Oh my god. Oh, so close. To 
two more flights. Holy damn. Okay. You gotta work hard for the travel. Is this it? I just want to leave you with one last thing. People are like, yo, why are you going to Montreal? And it's like, why not is the actual question. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and comment below. Have you ever taken a solo trip? And if so, did it fully exceed your expectations? I bet it did. We'll see you next time. Bye. Shout out to my fashion statement. I like to call it the high low sock with summer sandal look. If anybody wants to cop it, I won't even be mad.